Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the new Ace Combat 7 game. Uh, we will start with uh, the game itself and after that we will go in the config file because in the config file I saw a couple of uh, options that you can change to increase your FPS. So first of all me, my game was in borderless mode so make sure that you're playing full screen you will get like 3% of increasement for your FPS. So that's pretty huge, so just play full screen. I'm playing uh, 1080p, uh, for sure after all the changes I will show you if you don't uh, you don't get your uh, 60, uh, lower your resolution for something like 720p, very important. Not uh, using free sync, uh, no restriction for my FPS. Uh, I'm using Bloom in this uh, game because I really like the effect, but uh, you, if you remove it, you will like maybe gain 2% uh, of FPS. So uh, definitely you should test it, but uh, depend if you like or not the effect. Motion Blur, I'm just removing it because I don't like the effect, but you will not uh, have an increase of FPS if you remove that. Advanced setting now. So let's start scaling. Scaling, I'm, I'm just playing straight up at 100. Uh, for sure you can go lower than that, but you will see that your image quality will decrease a lot. So this is your last resort. After all the stuff that will show you in the game and in the config file, if, if you don't still, if you don't get your uh, 60, you can definitely uh, go lower on the scaling. But honestly, under like 95 or maybe 90, uh, the, the game looks like shit. So don't want to go there. Uh, for anti-aliasing, I'm playing FXA at I. Uh, the game doesn't take a lot of resources for the anti-aliasing, but for sure, if you have like a low-end computer, integrate GPU, a laptop, stuff like that, you definitely go at low. And if you still have issue, you can remove the anti-aliasing in the game if you want. Shadow quality is really important for uh, your FPS. For each bracket, I'm getting three percent of boost. So if you, if you go high to low, you will gain like six to seven F, uh, percent of FPS. So of your total FPS, so that's pretty huge. Texture doesn't impact uh, your FPS, it depends on your VRAM. Honestly, if you have like three gig and more, you can play at high. If you have two gig, go at medium. And if you have less than two gig, go at low. Effect quality, I didn't see a big improvement uh, on the FPS. It's more like when you fight, you're getting like more stable FPS. So if you feel like when you're fighting and when you have a lot of action in your screen, uh, your FPS are dropping, for sure it's the effect quality. So go lower on this one. Post-processing quality, uh, again, 2% for each bracket. So I'm playing at medium. I don't want to go too low on this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Screen space reflection, I'm getting 3% of increase. I'm just removing it. Uh, all the reflective stuff in the game. Uh, really important, honestly. Uh, you will see that, first of all, you will get more FPS and your FPS will be a lot more uh, smoother. Um, so yeah. So now let's go in the config file. I will show you a couple of other options that you can change uh, that are not in the game. So let's go in the config file. So to find your config file, you need to go to your C drive, users, at the name of your computer, app data, local, Bandai Namco Entertainment, Ace Combat 7, and config. Uh, to see your app data, make sure that you're uh, seeing your uh, hidden file on your uh, Windows, so you need to change uh, that setting. And after that, open game user setting. In this file, you will have all the parameters that you set in the game. Uh, you can change the draw scale, it was not in the uh, in-game. And that's about it for that, for that part. After that, you have the scalability group. You have two things that you can change that you didn't see in the game. It's the view distance quality. This one really important. You can go lower than three if you want. Uh, it takes a lot of resources to render uh, in front of you. So you can lower that. And the other thing that you can change is the foliage quality. Um, it's stuff like yeah, trees, grass, and stuff like that. If you go lower, you will get a lot more FPS. The last thing that you need to look at is the HDR display output. Uh, this one, uh, sometimes it's default by true for whatever reason, even if you don't have an HDR screen. Uh, it doesn't seem to be an issue in this game because for me right now it's good. But for example, in No Man's Sky, my uh, the same thing was at on and when I removed it, I, I gained like 25 FPS was pretty crazy. So make sure this one is at false if you don't have an HDR uh, monitor. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.